Welcome everyone to yet another break night. It is Saturday night, well, early evening over here at least in snowy Minnesota. Uh, it is currently uh, 5.02 p.m. here, Saturday, April 14th, 2018. Um, and yeah, I did mention, I, I, I wish you guys could see this, but it is just ridiculous outside. Uh, already 8 inches here. We're getting East Coast type of snow out here. I know people. A lot of people say that. Oh, you know, it's Minnesota. Um, oh, hello. Uh, I've got Thomas B in our YouTube chat room. It says crack that wax, and we certainly will in just a moment here. Um, yeah, it is. It is just ridiculous the the the, the type of snow that we're getting out here. I, <laughs> uh, as I mentioned, uh, we've got eight inches already, and that's about half of what we're expecting. So um, it, it, eventually it'll stop. I already shoveled twice and poor LQ, she says she's going to be doing some shoveling a little bit here as well, which is why she's probably going to be absent for a good portion of the break. Uh, Tom B says, uh, in Texas, no snow. Well, I, I'm sure you've had snow in Texas before and of all years, I, I would say that this would be the one <laughs> that you'd end up getting some snow. All right. So, well, on tap tonight, of course, uh, we've got, uh, We've got three breaks we're doing. It's, it's all Diamond Kings tonight, actually. Uh, we've got... Uh, uh, we're going to start off with a triple team hybrid. Uh, we do that uh, dual box style. Uh, after that, we're going to do two boxes of Diamond Kings first off the line. That's also going to be a triple team hybrid. And the final break tonight is going to be a quarter case. Pick one, get one. Now, all these uh, breaks are sold out tonight, so... Uh, just to kick back and watch if you don't have spots. Uh, if you are looking for some spots uh, for some breaks coming up, we do have our Bowman Charity Case Break coming up, benefiting Prevent Child Abuse America. Uh, it happens to be Child Abuse Prevention Month, so that uh, ties in perfectly with that charity. Um, right now we're doing uh, uh, reservation fees of just $20 per team. And I did happen to notice that cases and boxes have gone up in price considerably. Uh, recently for uh, Bowman. So if, our prices are not going to be going up. Uh, so if you want to grab a team in Bowman, uh, I, I think our, our charity case break would be the one to do. Uh, we do have 10 uh, teams left. Um, like I said, it's $20 to reserve your team now. Uh, you'll either get a little invoice or I'll send you a little bit, uh, bit of money back uh, at a later date, depending on how your team prices out. So, all right. Now, uh, of course, I like to... Uh, Kind of do a little bit of an education piece on the product that we break for the night. And tonight, of course, we're doing Diamond Kings. And really, the only thing that uh, we're really looking for tonight are variations. And I, I, I tweeted out a couple of the uh, variation pictures uh, earlier this week. Um, one of the big giveaways on the variations uh, is going to be the back. And they did this last year. Or if you notice, uh, the base card will have one type of frame and uh, the variation will have a different type of frame. Now I've noticed, at least on the Shohei Itani card here, uh, it's also a different color. Now I don't, I don't, I haven't seen, I haven't broken any Diamond Kings yet this year. Uh, last year they did not change the uh, back of the color of the card that much and I'm noticing the fonts are different as well. So um, if that's the case all across the board, uh, that would be one good trick to know whether or not you have a variation. And uh, there's a good reason why that's uh, important. Now you'll notice we've got name variations. Uh, we have photo variations. We also have uh, black and white variations, sepia uh, variations. Now there is one photo variation that just drove me nuts. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Here it is, of Lefty Gomez. Now believe it or not, the card on the right is a photo variation. It says bigger glove, and it's not really a bigger glove. Um, these photos were taken, I'm going to guess, in the same session. And it's very, very subtle, uh, the differences in the photograph. You'll notice on the left side, lefty's hunched over just a little bit further. Um, on the right side, the... Uh, Kind of wavy stripe seems to go through the center of his head, whereas the wavy stripe is going kind of around the back of his head. There is more of the glove exposed, of course, on the right side of the card, uh, on the right card, uh, as opposed to the base card on the left. Um, you'll notice his uh, left, or on the right card, his right leg 
is shifted a little bit more forward and his left leg is bent a little bit more. I mean, that's real subtle. I had to sit here and look at the card for a couple of minutes for me to be able to really tell if that was indeed a completely different card. So yeah, that, that drove me a little nuts. Uh, but that, that's just me. So so yeah, that's really all we're looking at as far as um, this product goes. And now we've got some short prints as well. It's a very small base set, 100 uh, base cards, and I believe uh, 50 short prints, if not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hey, uh, Michael's in-house here. Uh, Waxtopia says, what up, uh, Crackers? What's going on? I just want to give a shout-out also to uh, Breakers TV. If you guys are there, say hey. Um, Ustream, Periscope, of course, if you're there, heart, give, give, us, give us tons of hearts. And for you, uh, uh, if you, if you folks on YouTube, please do us a huge favor. Uh, give us a like, uh, share this video, subscribe so you never miss another broadcast again. And unfortunately, we're not broadcasting on Twitch tonight. So um, for those who uh, ever watch this on Twitch, sorry, we're not uh, we're not doing that tonight. All right, so let's get to our first break. So we're going to do the, uh, the dual box hybrid first. Now, I've got five of the standard hobby boxes in front of me. I have the first off the line boxes off screen here, just so I don't confuse them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the dice to pick the first two boxes. So we're gonna do box one, two, three, four, and five. Obviously if I roll a six, then we'll just have to roll again. All right, the first box is a three. So one, two, three. So box number three will be part of the first break. And that is a six that just rolled off. If you guys can see that, I'll roll again. That is a six again. You see that? And a five. So three and five are going to be what we're breaking first. Put those off to the side. Second order of business, of course, is to randomize our teams, uh, because in a hybrid, if you're if you're not familiar, uh, what you do is you, I've got 10 available spots. You can pick your team, and then the 20 remaining teams will be random off to the people that uh, chose spots. So firstly, I'm gonna randomize the remaining teams from this first break here. I like to go into random.org, and I always like to randomize three times. Once, twice, three times. And I'm going to grab all 20 of those teams, and we'll go back into our team assignments. We're going to drop that right here, and now I'm going to take the 10 break participants. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to go into list randomizer once, twice three times and we do have some fresh meat by the way uh, Luke s I believe this is his first time joining a crack and wax break uh, so welcome Luke s if you're out there watching if you're in the chat room somewhere now I'm gonna take the final 10 teams that were not assigned yet and we're gonna randomize those one more time one two and three I like to do things in three with crack and wax. Paste that in there, then I'll take my original 10 names. One, two, three. And John, I, I know I know this is the break. This is one of the two breaks you're in, so hopefully you don't jet. Hopefully you stay. <laughs> All right, so our team assignments are as follows. Deb P, you've got the Reds, Rockies, Nationals. Deb U with the Angels, Dodgers, Phillies, White Sox, A's, Mariners, Rangers, Braves, and Orioles. Diane B, you've got the Cubs, Yankees, Pirates, Marlins, Indians, and D-backs. John, you've got the Royals, Cardinals, and Rays. Actually, John, the Rays, uh, I, 
I could have read the uh, checklist incorrectly, but I thought the Rays were actually pretty decent, uh, uh, decently uh, represented on this checklist. I, I, I could be thinking of a different one. You know me. You know how my brain works. Uh, <laughs> Luke, you've got the Red Sox, my twins, and the Tigers. And Vilma, you've got everybody else with the Astros, Blue Jays, Mets, Giants, Brewers, and Padres. All right, folks in the chat room, uh, any questions? Uh, we'll pop that chat room up real quick while I'm getting my teams into my team board. Now, Tom wants to know what charity do we give the money to? So uh, the Bowman Charity Break, uh, we're giving the money to uh, Prevent Child Abuse America. There we go. So those are the, the uh, that's the team assignment. We've got, uh, well, I'm not going to read it all to you again, but uh, there you are. All right, everybody, let's get cracking. Pardon me, handless Rod Carew there. <laughs> nice sealed box. Everything looks good. No damage that I can see. Damage is pretty unusual. Waxtopia wants me to pull some George Brett autos. You know, when I saw that on the checklist, I was like, oh, John's going to be on this. John's going to want me to be pulling George Brett autos for days. I suppose I should tell you, uh, eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box, find two autographs or memor uh, memorabilia cards per box on average. I had not heard of any hot boxes the only thing I really heard about was the first off the line boxes have their own uh, special purple parallels. I will just kind of keep that over there. All right. Hospitality says, I got the twins as well. So, Hospitality is Luke. Hello, Hospitality slash Luke. Oh, that's right. You're the one that was... Uh, okay, yep. when your payment came through, it came in... Uh, I had to dig it out of my junk mail. <laughs> I'm like, cool, someone from Minnesota. All right, so my very first... And yes, Zgrids, if you're around, I did remember the trash bag. Uh, my first Diamond King... Uh, 2018 Diamond Kings card of the year is Grover Alexander. And you'll see he's got the, the base frame. Nick Williams... Chris Sale, and a backwards card, which is framed, a nice red frame of Chuck Klein. Ooh, this is a nice frame. I I, I always dig the uh, Diamond Kings frames. These are very nice. Always well done. Chris Sale, Gallery of Stars. Tommy Henrich, Buster Posey, Carl Erskine. And this is a... Yeah, these these just have the look this year of uh, of the canvas texture. I'm not feeling, I don't think, the canvas te texture this year. It just feels uh, glossy to me. I I could be wrong. Yeah, normally I, I normally I can feel that texture, that kind of canvas feel to it. All right, so it doesn't look like we have any variations in that pack. Yeah, so Lucas from Moorhead. No, God, I'm trying to think. I. Uh, some old classmates of mine went to Moorhead. I'm trying to think of who they were, but... But if I told you who they were, that would give away my identity. 
Kershaw, Max Carey, Jim Thorpe, Miguel Andujar. And that was backwards because why? Maybe because it's a rookie card. We'll just go with that. Uh, awesome Ty Cobb portraits insert. These are fabulous looking. Little turkey reddish with the uh, the frame around it, but yeah, still very cool. Uh, Dylan Peters rookie card, not backwards. So yeah, I'll have to look into why that particular card was backwards. Yeah, no waffle pattern texture. If See now this Verlander has that feel. Now that's interesting. Some of these, okay, that's really weird. Okay, some of these cards feel like it has that texture. Some of these cards don't. It's almost as if the, there was too much finishing coat on some of these. Because if, because the printing process would be that they would print on a textured uh, paper or cardboard. They wouldn't texture it themselves with a different uh, process. And then what you do is you have a finishing coat on top of that, so it gets a, like, that nice glossy sheen. And I'm wondering if some of them got too much. Yeah, because now I'm feeling the pattern on some of them. But that first pack, almost smooth, which is why I was kind of confused. Okay, well. It seems as though we've got our first hit out of this pack. I'm, I'm just going to call it right now. You know how good I am with calling that. Of course, it's probably going to end up being a decoy in here. But <laughs> uh, we got Lucas Sims rookie card. Harry Brasheen. Honus Wagner. Sam Crawford. Yep, that's a hit all right. It's Andrew McCutcheon. And it's a dual DK materials for the Pirates. And tonight, Diane B has the Pirates. So you've got our first hit of the night, Diane. Congratulations. For Pennock, Anthony Banda rookie card, and John McGraw. We're looking for one more autograph, aut or autograph, one more hit, I should say, out of this first box here. And either a decoy or a hit already out of this one. So we might be uh, already through our hits, and it looks like we are. So, oh, we're not. But we do have... A Frank Thomas numbered frame, 33 of 49 for the White Sox. And it is a decoy, so I was fooled. Uh, Mickey Mantle, Trophy Club. Tyler Wade, Paul DeJong, and Lloyd Wainer. <laughs> Wainer. <laughs> this is why I need LQ down here, just to kind of... Straighten me up a little bit here. I get I get I get a little uh <laughs> a little immature. Raphael Devers. Now you'll see we've got a different frame here, so I'm gonna guess. Well, it's also 104. So that's uh probably a short print to begin with. And it is a black and white pair uh variation. So it is a variation short print. Raphael Devers rookie card. Uh yeah. That's a pretty decent one to have. For Luke S. From Moorhead. Congratulations on that. Uh, we've got an Alex Rodriguez, the 500. Yeah, interesting look. Not sure if I'm sold on that, but interesting look. That's what the back looks like. Looks like something I would have uh, designed in uh, college. That's probably why I'm like, eh. All right, so here's Lefty Gomez. Now, is this going to be the bigger glove variation? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so, because I think this is going to end up being the base. So, yeah, if we see Lefty Gomez again, we'll have to uh, we'll have to look. And then Moose Scowron. Scowron, jeez. SP Card Fan, finally getting to join you guys. Well, welcome. Now, I'm, uh, I'm guessing you are Tony. SP Card Fan, is your name Tony by any chance? Scherzer, Appling, Corey Seeger, Tommy Henrich. We've got an artist proof. 
21 of 99 of Tommy Henrich. Very cool. Past and present, we've got Fred Lynn and Andrew Benintendi. Ted Williams, Nolan Arnato, and Cody Bellinger. I'm going to quick... Yep, it is Tony. Well, thank you for joining us, Tony. Looking at the back frames. The, I think the only variation we've pulled so far is that Devers. Yep, there's Frank Thomas, but that was a frame. And Devers. Actually, that Frank Thomas frame might have been a variation as well. Let me go back to that. All right, so you'll notice on the back, the frame is not circular. So I'm wondering if this framed card is also a variation, which very well could be. Very nice, very nice. Looking for one more hit out of box number one. Again, if you're sitting in uh, Breakers TV, let me know. Shout out. Say hey. Sam Crawford frame. Nice red frame. Alex Bregman. Gallery of Stars. Very cool. A little re uh, reminiscent, uh, just a little bit of last year's Aurora set. Ernie Banks. Dom DiMaggio. Chris Flexen. All right, we've got our hit in here. Victor Caratini, Leo DeRocher, Heine Gro. Now, I, I polled Twitter asking what hit or whose hit they wanted me to pull. And I I, I believe I put Shohei Itani on there, um, Mickey Mantle. Um, and I, I can't remember the other one, but I also put uh, Babe Ruth on there. Or not Babe Ruth. Um, Kirby Puckett. And Kirby Puckett won the poll. And I, I, as much as I would love to pull Kirby Puckett, I just I don't think that's going to happen. But, man, let's see what it is, though. Andrew Stevenson. Base card. I was I was, <laughs> I was faked out again. Frank uh, Frank Thomas was named uh, name variation. Ah, there you go. So I got to go back to that frame and, and take a look again. Portraits of Ken Griffey Jr., Greg Allen, Frank Thomas. Okay, so there's the Frank Thomas base card, Francisco Lindor. Yeah, I did leave George Brett off the pole. Let's find that Frank Thomas. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. So the big hurt. See, I got to be watching for that. So the frame told me it was a variation, so I got I to gotta watch the name there just to make sure we're not passing those by. So, uh, Sparkle Motion from uh, Blow, or uh, I'm sorry, Blowout, <laughs> not Blowout, uh, from Breakers TV, uh, to let me know that that was a name variation. John says, I think you pulled two uh, Sims RCs, one of them might be different. Well, we will find out, won't we? Still looking for one more hit out of this box. Garrig, Mookie Betts, Roger Maris, Josh Donaldson. We've got George Springer Trophy Club. Mickey Mantle, Pee Wee Reese, Aaron Judge. Victor Robles, George Springer, Car Carl Ferrillo, Joe Jackson. Hey, what do we have here? A Kyle Farmer autograph for the Dodgers. Now, of course, uh, Diamond Kings is going to be a sticker autograph uh, product. Dodgers goes to debut tonight. Congratulations, debut. I don't see you in the chat room tonight, but uh, maybe you'll hop in. So that's one auto and one dual relic hit out of this box. There's Shohei Itani. Now let's see if this is the base. Appears to be just the standard base. He's got like 12 different freaking variations. Harry Walker. There's a Ty Cobb variation. 
Must be a photo, because that's the... Uh, that's his name. It's got to be a photo variation, I'm going to guess. Uh, Manny Ramirez, the 500. Shohei Itani. There we go. There's a photo variation. So two Shohei Itani is out of the same pack. So what was the first one? First one was pitching, I think. Yep. So one pitching and one batting. Are they both 76? Nope. So these are two different base cards. So they're not uh, they are not at all variations. They're just uh, two different base cards. Tony uh, Lazari and Tyler Molly. Final pack out of box number one. And then I'm going to quick go through and double check to see if I missed any variations. And then we'll move on to box number two. Musial, Goldschmidt, Clemente. There's a nice Aurora card. This is Buster Posey. I think they do a really good job with the auroras. It's like I, I, I'm just like on the edge of <laughs> having like unicorn vomit, but uh, still think very well done. All right, so the hits out of this box: Kyle Farmer, Auto, Andrew McCutcheon, as uh, Buck City would call it, dual white napkins. I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss any. Uh, Variations, of course, we know the Frank Thomas variation. Uh, Ty Cobb, we saw it was a variation. Already saw that. Rafael Devers, we knew, was a variation. So that's three variations that uh, I'm aware of. There may be more, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think there were three variations out of that box. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure if that's standard. But let's move on to box number two those hits on screen same exact configuration now I've got folks from uh, Minnesota of course in the room here I've got folks from Texas I know I've got folks from Iowa where where the heck is everyone else from here I and who is being affected by this weather <laughs> Yeah, I got into my day job, uh, and I thought I'd seen the worst of it um, going in, and then coming home was even worse. And I got to go again tomorrow morning, so I don't really have much time to sort this stuff tonight, but I, I will do what I can. Set that off to the side somewhere here. There we go. What are you guys saying about my music? Background music sounds like Holiday Road. I know it is. <laughs> nice. Harry Hooper, Larson, Kluber. Another Raphael Devers variation. It's the same variation out of that second box. Black and white. Well, isn't that interesting? Decoy. Mark McGuire, the 500. Clint Kershaw, Thorpe, Sims. Huh. So SP card fan is out of Atlanta. Thomas B says it was 55 degrees in Texas. I will take 55 degrees over this crap. <laughs> Past and present Frank Thomas and Jose Abreu. Nicky Delmonico. Devers hot case, yeah. 
Another Shohei Atani batting base card. There we go. Minnesota Twins. Zach Granite. Dual Jersey Auto. Number 299 of 299. Now that is an eBay 101. And Luke. Hospitality in YouTube. You've got my Zach Granite. Congratulations on your eBay 101. Very nice. Hey, a Chris Bryant fight. Yeah, now Michael's all mad because he <laughs> doesn't have the twins in this break. Odubel Herrera is backwards for probably no reason that I can think of. Except I believe he's a short print. That's 103. So they must be uh, seating the short prints backwards. That's going to be my guess. Justin Turner, Gallery of Stars. Ted Lyons, Bryce Harper, and Billy Herman. All right, Dustin Fowler, another short print, 119. That's above the 100 cutoff. Rookie card there. Shohei Otani, Gallery of Stars. I'm feeling we're going to be pulling a whole bunch of Otani tonight. I'm just hoping one of them's a, an autograph. I haven't, I haven't pulled his autograph yet. I feel like, I feel like this every year. We're like, <laughs> except for last year. Last year I got lucky, but like every year, uh, John can attest to this. How many breaks did you join? trying to get a Chris Bryant auto from me and I just could not for the life of me find his autograph. I It took me forever to find his auto. It took me forever. Remember when Jose Abreu was a big deal? It took me forever to find his autograph. We got an artist proof of Ted Williams. This is 85 of 99. And a portrait of Greg Maddox. These, I'm going to guess, are going to be real hard to grade. Anytime you put a, a, a full border on any card, boy, you've got to have that cut real precisely. A tube. Man, Kirby Puckett. Well, I did pull a Kirby Puckett now. <laughs> but not a hit. Uh, Chuck Klein. That is a red frame. Boy, that that is a color of red that really pops. That is... That's like... God, would you call that cherry red? That is some... Or maybe strawberry red. That is some red. Uh, Corey Seager Trophy Club. Nick Williams, Chris Sale, and Max Carey. Now, how long into the baseball collecting season is it going to take for everyone to be sick of Otani Mania? Ooh, Mookie Betts. Dual jersey for the Red Sox. Luke S., you are tearing it up tonight. Double jersey. Of Mookie Betts. Congratulations, my friend. Uh, what do we call that, John? Waxtopia? Uh, that's Chatroom Mojo. Hashtag it's a thing. <laughs> of course, LQ hates when I say that. Because it doesn't always apply. <laughs> Moose. We have a Miguel Andujar variation, and it is also a short print, 118. 
And is it also a variation? It is. Well, we've got a triple whammy here with Miguel Andujar. Not only is it a short print, not only is it framed, but it's also a black and white variation. Wow. I'm surprised this isn't numbered at least, but uh, yeah. Not gonna find one of these uh, very often. I would, I would doubt. Past and present. Brooks Robinson, Manny Machado. Shohei Itani again. Joe Jackson. Waxtopia wants his mojo now. Aurora of Andrew McCutcheon. Portrait of Honus Wagner. Two more packs to go, and we are done with break number one. Andrew Benintendi, red frame. Oh, now, if that... If that isn't a good color combo, that's nice. I like that. Chris Bryant Trophy Club, Leo DeRocher, and the final pack. Just give me a George, uh, George Brett base at least. <laughs> I can't believe we've gone through two boxes and no George Brett anything. It's not fair. Well, we got a Joe, uh, Joe DiMaggio. Must be a photo variation. And we've got Frank Thomas, the 500, Luke Gehrig, Mookie Betts, and Roger Maris. Oh, no George Brett out of, the, out of either one of these boxes. Oh my goodness. No bueno. All right, well, a hit recap, just in case everybody forgot. We've got a uh, dual jersey of Mookie Betts. Goes to Luke. Uh, we've got a Zach Granite dual jersey auto. You'll notice there is a little bit of stripe in that top one. That's number 299 out of 299. That's at eBay 101. Uh, that is also for Luke. Uh, we got an Andrew McCutcheon dual jersey for the Pirates. Going to Diane. And a Kyle Farmer Dodgers auto for Deb U. There you go. Well, that was break number one. Well, up next. Up next is going to be the first off the line. Dual box, triple team hybrid. Yeah, sorry, John. I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but we are gonna take we are gonna take just a little bit of a uh, let's say let's call it an intermission. Uh, I'm going to uh, give us about five minutes or so, and uh, we'll be back to do uh, the first off the line break. All right, we'll see you in just a moment.
All right, we're back uh, from our little intermission. Um, about to do our first off the line dual box triple team hybrid break. And uh, of course, again, if you're not familiar with our triple team hybrid break, what we do is uh, we offer 10 spots. You pick one team and then you get two additional teams randomly assigned to you. And uh, so that's what we're gonna do uh, real quickly. And firstly, to uh, answer Sparkle Motion's question uh, from uh, Breakers TV, do you have any spots left in the Diamond Kings break? Unfortunately, no, we are actually sold out of Diamond Kings for the night. Um, however, uh, we do have spots uh, for our Bowman charity case break. We do have 10 teams left there. Uh, so just go to cracklemax.com slash shop, uh, pick your team. And uh, again, that is a charity case break and proceeds will be donated to Prevent Child Abuse America. All right, so just like uh, the last break, we're going to be randomizing some teams. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the 10 remaining teams, the teams that were not chosen. I'm going to randomize them three times, once, twice, three times. And we're going to put those in our team assignment board here. And now I'm going to I'll get rid of that extra row there. Uh, grab our 10 participants in this particular break. Apparently this time I decided to leave everyone's last names in like I, I don't normally do that. Whoops. Sorry about that, guys. I do that more for space than for anonymity, but that's also a bonus. Then I'm going to take the final 10 teams that have not been assigned yet. We'll randomize them. Once, twice, three times. Oops. Let's get all 10 of them in there, shall we? There we go. And we'll take our original 10 participants. And we'll do it one more time. And by one more time, I mean three more times. <laughs> Once. Twice. Three times. Drop that in there. Get rid of that. Last row there. All right. Team assignments for the first off the line dual box triple team hybrid are as follows. Deb, you, uh, you've got the first chunk. You've got the Angels, Dodgers, Phillies, White Sox, Brewers, Astros, Padres, Rangers, Braves, Orioles, Pirates, and Tigers. Diane with the Red Sox, Yankees, Rays, A's, Reds, Cardinals. Michael, you've got the Twins, Giants, and Indians. Richard, you've got everything else. You've got the Cubs, Mets, Rockies, Royals, D-backs, Marlins, Mariners, Nationals, and Blue Jays. All right, if you want to just uh, hang back a second here while I uh, get our team board all situated nicely here. Do I want to waste the time and shorten everybody's names? I think I will. I'll be nice. So I'm 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 seriously considering not actually going and I've been at my current job for nearly seven years and I have never called in sick or unable to work and I think tomorrow is going to be the first day that I've ever done that I am seriously I mean I'm, I'm I've got my office window open and I'm looking out there and it is just insane 
Like I mentioned, this is like East Coast Snownami. And as I'm uh, shortening these names, I realize I misspelled Michael's last name. I forgot the C. <laughs> You'd think a guy from the Twin Cities would know how to spell that name, you know, given that uh, Charles Schultz is from St. Paul. Now, the first off-the-line boxes, as I mentioned, they're, they're identical for the most part. Uh, to the standard uh, uh, hobby boxes. Uh, one of the differences is that they have their own uh, parallels. Uh, they're purple parallels that you can only find in the first off the line boxes. All right, so I have our teams. There they are. Or at least I thought it was. Let's try that again. How's that? There we go. Much better. All right. I decided to use Deb's full name. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get cracking. Now, these came directly from Panini. I did not buy these from my LCS or from an on uh, online retailer. And, uh, John, I have no idea what band that was. Uh, they are... The music that I'm using is uh, copyright free, so uh, YouTube can't claim any sort of copyright. Oh, and that first off the line sticker is preventing me from opening this box. There we go. Still preventing me from opening this box. Well, goodness, there we go. Trying to be gentle and ginger. you back in there same as before uh, we still have eight cards per pack 12 packs per box and two autographs or memorabilia cards per box on average well if the uh let's see we'll we'll do this Hopefully that'll help a little bit. Um, it, it, honestly, if the feed's dropping, it could be the weather a little bit. I'm not really sure. Um, we have a framed Ted Williams, 91 of 99. Does that, now that one, normally these are, at least I thought the frames were loaded in backwards. I guess they weren't this time around. Yeah, I'm looking at my broadcaster, and it looks like I've dropped about 4,000 frames in there, so I wouldn't be surprised if the feed did drop out on you. Um, yeah, like I said, could be due to the weather, uh, could be due to me being in, uh, playing in studio mode. <laughs> Jose Altuve, now this is going to be a variation. That's a sepia variation. Past and present, Mickey Mantle and Mike Trout. Now... Uh, since this is a multi-team card, uh, let's see, uh, Angels is Deb, and New York Yankees is Diane. So I'll have to randomly assign this to either Deb or Diane. Yeah, please let me know if uh, you're having any more feed issues. Unfortunately, that is, uh, that happens. Shohei Otani, Otani. Willie Calhoun, that is a short print. Number 126 there. Rookie card. Clayton Kershaw Trophy Club. Judge. Now this is a nice thick pack, and I'm convinced that there's a hit in this one, not just a decoy. And I did double check with Panini. Um, I will not need to save the rappers, Nikki Delmonico, Bobby Thompson, Chris Bryant, 
And oh, there we go. A Shohei Itani base card. <laughs> so no hit. I, I was I was duped again. But this one is the short print number 139. So a little bit of a harder to pull Shohei Itani at, at the very least anyway. Wah, wah. Ah, they get me every time. How's the feed now? A little bit better? Frank Thomas 500, Kirby Puckett base card. All right, we've got a Mike Fultanovich. Atlanta Braves autograph. Atlanta goes to Deb. Well, this can't be chat room mojo. It's just Deb mojo. <laughs> Congratulations, Deb. Now that is purple foil, by the way. So this is one of the, uh, it's hard to tell. There, you can see the purple, purple foil. Hey, Zegris is here. What's up, Zegris? Uh, so this is one of the uh, first off-the-line only parallels. And now I see it's 17 of 20. So this is a, a lower-numbered one, 17 of 20. And it looks like the feed dropped again. And are we back? Are we back? Nope, not yet. It's dropping. So I'm going to keep this here. And I am completely down. 